Hi everyone, I'm Romain, you're on the Dr. Cash channel. You're watching another video of our Affiliate Marketing Academy by Dr. Cash. And now we're gonna talk about how to make creatives unique, to pass moderation easily, and what tools can help us. Let's go! Together with the ability to generate creatives, it's also important to be able to make them unique. This skill is necessary in order to skillfully use other publishers' approaches, as well as to refresh your ads if other pubs notice them, as it increases the chance of bans. The process of uniqueization includes both changing the image itself, either editing or completely remastering it, as well as working with metadata. All this is done so that the network algorithms determine the files as absolutely new and unique with an untainted reputation. Metadata is information about the file, one can say its documents. They include title, extension, copyright, date of creation, geolocation and so on. There are many programs and online services that allow you to completely remove and edit metadata. You will find a list of popular ones in the description. Just keep in mind that metadata should be cleaned at the very end after uniqueization, as we may leave our own traces while working on creatives. As for editing images, here it is necessary to explain such concept as hash. It's a unique identifier of a file, which is assigned either by the first owner of the file or by the program. Different algorithms can be used for calculation. There is a site in the description where you can generate and compare hashes of different files. So for the network to perceive it as a new and unique, hash also should become unique. And for this, you need to make images quite unique. And the best way is to do it yourself. Here is a list of things that will help to make images look new and unique for Facebook. If, after all these steps, a creative is banned, you can take a screenshot and use it. There are, of course, many services for automatic uniqueization. In the description, you can also find a list of bots that make uploaded photo or video files unique, as well as special software for editing images. I would like to focus on neural networks that can help us in this case. In addition to the well-known mid-journey, we have this list. Let's get to know it better. Photogo Art offers stylistic processing of existing images, editing or creating new ones from a text. PornPen will help us in generating creatives of 18 plus category. Follow the link in the description and explore it yourself. Synthesia allows you to create videos from a text. More specifically, it generates a talking head that speaks our text. Crayon also generates images from a text. While Said Labs can provide us with a very high quality voice over of our text in English. Eleven Labs also voices our texts, but in different languages. DID makes simple images pronounce our texts and we can upload our own audio file with voice or just type the text. Riverside will help us pull a text out of video. Stable Audio offers us the generation of audio based on a textual prompt. A little further in this video I will show how to make photos and video creatives unique in Canva. If you are interested in a detailed analysis of bots and services for uniqueization, write about it in the comments and share your experience of using automatic uniqueizers. Before we start editing, let's talk about how to search for creatives. We already had a video about working with spy services on our channel. There I showed you how to search in Edhart. Now let's go through a simple instruction on how to do it in the free Facebook library. Its interface is much simpler than an at heart search can be performed both by keywords and exact phrases. We separate keywords with vertical dashes, while exact phrases are enclosed in quotes. Geo in our case is India. Let's search for creatives with prostatitis. 
Now let's filter the results. Here we can choose by language, advertiser, platform, media type, activity, status and display period. In our case set the ad launch period and choose to display only active ads. Apply. And here we have the active ads in front of us. We can see the launch dates, platform, creatives and text on the cards. From here we can also click on the link and we can view all ads from the selected account. This way we find creatives that Facebook has already approved and can work on them. If we need to view all ads on the selected geo to understand what others drive, we do the following. When selected the desired geo, we insert the magic symbol. It will be linked in the description. And then a word in the target language or even just a letter. Then in the filters in the language field, select the target language and apply. The thing is that the library sometimes can't offer the target language right away, so you can initially insert a word in it. Our next step is to edit the address bar, namely we delete the word leaving the code of our symbol. Push enter and that's all. We see all the ads in the target geo language. If you compare it with at heart, the library wins because it's free and secondly, all ads appear in it immediately since it is a meta product. Whereas at heart starts at $50 per month and ads appear in it within a few days. Thirdly, there are comments that at heart can display not all ads, but the library puts everything as it is. As a result, I will say don't underestimate the library. It's a good tool, especially with minimal budgets. But thanks to flexible search settings, spy services allow you to work much more thoroughly on the search for ads of competitors. Now I will show you how to make creatives unique as well as how to remaster them. We will use the free version of Canva. Choose a square pattern, for example for an Instagram post and upload our creative. Edit a little the parameters of the creative. Namely temperature, tint, sharpness, etc. Then we search for textures in the Canva database. Choose a suitable one. Make the texture a little transparent, it will be enough for the algorithm. Then apply a filter like this. We can add a frame. Done! The uniqueization of this creative is complete, afterwards the metadata needs to be cleaned. Depending on the creatives, you can continue to mess with it. The main thing is that this large number of manipulations shouldn't greatly degrade the creative's perception. It's desirable that the perception does not deteriorate, so remastering the creatives is the best option. Let's take the same creative. It consists of a background with vinegar bottles, a girl in the foreground, a banner, a flag and a call to action. Our task is to gather all the components on the internet, I've already done it in advance, and prepare for work. We take a photo of the girl and remove the background. We do the same with the flag. After that, we upload everything to the Canva. Let's start. We place the scenic background. Now the girl. For contrast, we applied a shadow. You can add neutral elements to highlight it more, like this. Now we create a header with a text. If you are unable to reproduce geo language on the keyboard by yourself, there is a link in the description where you can copy the text from the image. Next we place the call to action. And the final touch is the flag. Done. Now let's unicize the video. Upload the file. Edit the picture itself a little bit. 
add a texture make a new header turn off the audio track on the timeline we'll divide the video into separate episodes and change their tilt now we'll add a new audio track and we are done as you can see unicization is just a combination of simple steps and everyone can cope with it if you have any questions ask in the comments and i hope this video was useful for you stay tuned hit the like button may the high ROI be with you